So in this video, we're going to talk about spectral denoise, and I'm especially excited for this one. This is my personal favorite tool in RX. But it's very sensitive, requires a lot of finesse. You have to know how to use it, and that's why we're here today. All right, so what we're gonna do, Donnie had to do this. He was in a hotel room, and he has this piece of audio, and let me play you a little zone of it. Having so many students with special needs is tough. I know you've all had experience with so we've got this little segment of audio. I could play different segments. It feels like there's just so much advice and intervention. Okay, and you can hear, hey, that's a really great hotel room. Did you ask for that directly? You know, the funny thing is I asked to be on the top floor because usually the top floor is better at least, but they ended up putting me right next to this big AC, AC vent that was right outside my door. And then there were, I think there was another AC unit on the other side outside. And yeah, it was one of the worst, one of the worst hotel rooms I've been in for recording. And so this is a worst case scenario. So what did you do to mitigate that? I mean, first off, what do you, what are the things that, that jump out at you when you see it visually? Yeah, well, first of all, it's just, there's a ton of orange up and down the spectrum, which of course we don't like. Uh, that's always a bad initial sign. And then you see at the bottom of the spectrum, there's a ton of bass rumbling down there. That's Those are the, the different AC units that were running all around my room. Okay. All kinds of little low-end hums. Well, and then, So yeah, we got to get those out of there. Yep. By the way, you can see if we switch on the waveform view that if I'm in a DAW, I can't tell that that's low-end, high-end. All I know, I do know there's noise there. It's very obvious that there's noise, but what's not obvious in this kind of view, which is why DAWs are great for all sorts of things and we use them, but in this type of repair, once you switch over to the X-ray view, we instantly know that, wow, there's where the vast majority of it is. And then, for those of you that don't notice yet, uh, if you haven't seen a spectrogram a lot, then you'll notice that right here, it's also darker. And then here's a little technique. Little we go over so here. I ended up running four passes of spectral denoise on this file to get it usable. No, well, every so. piece of audio is different, and you're going to have a different situation. So understanding the principles are helpful. Tonal is a tone like you're a monk. Mm, you have to you have to put your fingers together appropriately, and you get a tone like that. A piano note, bum, and, and it just stays a sustain. Any That's tone. And so that's your side to side. Anything that you see horizontal here, if they're in the top, they're very often you'll hear the word buzz. Noisy is this milky color in here. This is all noise. It's considered broadband noise. It's broad. It's just a little harder on that. And now I know you've all had experience with different mental health issues. It feels like there's there is no hum left in that. There is no all those bright lines at the bottom are now gone in within the words. So that's pretty cool. Here, render. Okay, that leaves a nice amount in there. Matter of fact, you can hear it. There that is. And then I'm gonna undo that and okay, redo that. That's pretty good. So how how in the world would we get rid of now? Let's so we have a tough case. Yeah. Because you're a tough guy. What mm -hmm. can you do with that tough case to get rid of any of that stuff that's in between? Yeah. So for the final pass, I used a technique that you showed me a couple years ago on an earlier sports broadcasting trip where I had to do the same kind of thing, where I go... And then I'm going to show you one other final technique, and we're done. I know you've all had experience with different mental health issues. It feels like there's just so much advice and interventions online, but I think it would be helpful for me to hear what's worked for you. You nailed it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, and, and and just and just to show off a bit more, go back to the original and play them side by side, oh, yeah, just yeah. for our for our friends at home. Yes. Okay. I know you've all had experience with different mental health issues. I know you've all had experience with different mental health issues. It feels like there's just so much advice, and that's pretty amazing, DB. Okay. Well, that's that's the thing. RX is amazing. We would, of and course, it, do little things like take the mouthy click in here. And right and double click here and go through and just render that one time and it'll take out all his mouth noise boom that was gone there was different mental health issues it feels like there's just so i just love that that, that we just, yeah like, uh, you know i mean so it would have been a couple extra little baby steps I'd take out a little of the reverb it's not bad in that situation but it just depends on what you're doing but if you can take it out of this yeah, and this is this is a great example, not just of an extreme scenario, but also of how RX pays you back over and over because this was a new client. This is somebody that and not only was I able to make this work, I sent it to them. They loved it.
And then the next week, back in my studio in my optimal recording environment, they sent me a much longer, much more lucrative project. So I, I created a repeat client from this piece of audio in this environment using RX, and it's going to pay me back. You know, I'm going to end up making quite a bit of money, hopefully over many years with this client now because I was able to do this and make it work in this one scenario. 